Suratul Kahf, ayah nombor 32 onwards will continue Suratul Kahf, ayah nombor 32. Nahmadu wa nusalli ala rasuli al kareem amma baad. So here the story starts about a garden. Like you know, badrib lahum masalun. Rajulaini jalna li ahdihima jannatain. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala present the example of the person who has two gardens. Badrib is from Daraba. It set forth lahum to them masalan the example. Rajulaini two men. Ja'alna we provided li ahdihima for one of them. Jannatain. Jannatain is tasniya, two gardens. Min of anabin means anab is for grapes. Wahafafna huma. And we bordered them, we nakliyum with the date palms. Wajaalna and we place what we placed here, bainahuma, between both of them, zara crops. So here giving the example and present them the story of two men. One of them had two gardens of uh, grapes uh, and here hafaf nahuma to surround something from all sides. So the two gardens of grape vines were surrounded by date palms between the two gardens is zara or crop. Means in the middle of two gardens of grapes he has crops. And he is getting grains, fruits, dates and grapes. Dates and grapes and all those things. So here, uh, Surah Al-Kahf, Ayah number 32, and uh, present them an example of two men. We granted to one of them two gardens and grape vines. And we bordered them with palm trees and placed between them the field of crops. So, and then, kilta jannataina atat. Kilta, here, each. Jannatain, again, talking about two gardens. And what are those two gardens here talking about? The person who is possessing two gardens. And what are they? Atat brought forth. Ukulaha, it produce. Ukulaha, it produce. Valam and not tazlim did wrong mean who of it shayan anything of a jarna and we cause to gush forth and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cause to gush forth what here it gush forth kilala huma within them nahra a river and not only river here we see how beautiful the garden was so both of the archids produce fruit the land must have been fertile. It uh, did not uh, fall. Fall short from it anything between the two gardens. There was a river. The man did not have to put in effort uh, to water his crops. His uh, expenses must have been minimal. And his profit grand. So each of two gardens produced its fruits and did not fall short. Therefore, in anything and we cause to gush forth within them a river. Wakana lahu samrun and was lahu for him samrun summer is for fruits. Pakala so he said li sahibihi to his companion. Wahua while he is yuhaviruhu while he was talking with him ana I am aksaru greater minka than you malan wealth. Azu and stronger nafra in men. So here at harvest time he had fruit. The crop, the vines were ready. There was surplus and ready for picking. And summerun, summer, the product of process, not just referring to fruit. The owner of this garden said to his companion, remember there are two men. So, I am more in money than you in wealth. And I am mightier than you in men. Soldier, a band of men. Basically, he is being boastful. He is showing arrogance and riya. Usually, if you have more money, you have more friends, more family, more workers. He is comparing himself to his friends. We need to be careful what we are comparing ourselves. So, we need to stop comparing in material sense. We should come in doing good deeds, righteous acts. 
we must stop chasing this dunya we are not servants of the dollar you have ruhu is from tahabur ha waura is to return when you say something the person you are talking to return a statement and he had fruits so he said to his companion while he was conversing with him i am greater than you in wealth and might in number of men so wa dakhala jannatahu dakhala means dal qalam means and he entered jannatahu here its garden wa huwa zalimun while he was unjust li nafsihi to himself all he said ma azunnu ma here is not azunnu i think an that the be the will perish has he this abadan ever he is thinking like you know this won't perish ever so he then enter his garden as he was doing zul to himself by uh, being arrogant and he says that he does not think that anything will happen to it this is the greatest deception one could uh, feel that way the bida is from ba ya dal by this to die to cease to exist exist bida is uh, used for an empty land he is telling his friend that i don't think that this garden will ever perish so we think like this as well when we get a new job new house car very good life we think that oh that is perfect and what could ever happen to it this is the greatest deception when something reaches its height it is bound to decline so in urdu they say whatever goes up it will go down right once uh, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was uh, riding his camel he his was always the best uh, camel it was always ahead a bedouin man's camel beat the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam camel the companions were disappointed and sad prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that whatever goes high then there is always something that will get ahead of it we have to remember that some day we are high some day we are low sometimes we think oh we got what we want but the time comes when it will decline so he entered garden while he was unjust to himself why he was unjust because he was arrogant and one person who is doing arrogancy he is doing or she is doing zulm on oneself he said i don't think that uh, this will uh, perish ama azunnu sa'ata qaimatan and then the man began denying the day of judgment his arrogance took him to another level when people become successful in worldly term they begin to forget their akhirah because he saying wa ma azunnu sa'ata qaimatan wa la in ruddittu ila rabbi la ajidanna khairan minha munqalaba so he says that if i am ever returned to my lord then i will get what is even better if i have good now then i will have good later i am the best i deserve it so what we learn from this we should not have a sense of entitlement we should not feel that oh we deserve the best just because we have something good now doesn't mean that we will have it forever this life does not show what one will have is the same thing we can have in akhira is there any guarantee no until unless you try hard for the good deeds so and i do not think the hour will occur and even if i should be brought back to my lord i will surely find better than this uh, return he said so so later on he said qala lahu sahibuhu qala he said lahu to him sahibuhu his companion wa huwa yuhabiruhu while he was talking to him akfarta you disbelieve billazi in one who khalaqaka created you min from turab and dust summa then min from nutfatin like you know minute quantity of semen summa then sawaka fashion you rajula into a man so here what did his friend say in response 
he continued talking to him and said, Do you uh, disbelieve in the one who created you from dust? This guy was becoming so arrogant when his friend reminded him of his humble origin. Uh, then he was created from sperm drop. Then he was fashioned into a man. How can one deny this? What we learn? What are we made of? This should keep us humble. We were created from a sperm drop. So his companion said to him, while he was conversing with him, have you disbelieved in he who created you from dust, then from a sperm drop, then proportionate you as a man? Lakinnahu Allahu Rabbi. Lakinna, but as for me, who are he? Allahu Allah, Rabbi, my Lord. Wala and not Ushriku. I associate be Rabbi with my Lord, Ahada, anyone. So the friend responds, as for me, I believe in Allah and my lord and do not associate partners with my lord so he is completely abandoning the shirk walawla is the qalta walawla and why not is when the qalta you entered jannataka your garden qulta say ma what sha allah allah bins la there is no quwwata power illa except allah with allah tarani you see me Anami akalla lesser minka than you mala in wealth wabalada and the children. So the person and why did you uh, when you entered your garden not say Masha Allah la quwata illa billah but Allah will has occurred there is no power except Allah although you see me less now in wealth than children. So the person who is the, uh, his friend he is reminding he reprimand his friend and tells him that he should have said Masha Allah for your bounties if you feel that you are better than me rather than feeling your greatness due to your material gains you must remember the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we should say Masha Allah la quwata illa billah when we are admiring a blessing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us this is a protection from evil so whenever you see something good, don't say, wow, nice, say, Masha Allah, la quwata illa billah, for your uh, own children, yourself, anything, you know. So may Allah protect us all. There is, and there is a Nasri but like, you know, we, we, we should, uh, uh, like, uh, protect ourselves by praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fa'asa rabbi ay yu'tiyani. Asa means it may be or uh, Rabbi my Lord and that perhaps you know you tayini will give me khairan better mean then jannatika your garden where your sila and will send alayha upon it husband al calamity mean from asamai the sky fatus biha then it will become saeed and garden zalaqa so here the friend you know it may be that my Lord will give me something better than your garden and will send upon it a calamity from the sky and it will become a smooth, dusty ground. So he is reminding again, you know, today you think you have more, but Allah can give me, isn't it? Allah can give to anyone. Allah has given that person. Why not to this person too? So he's saying that he's not jealous or he's not cursing. Remember that. So Allah could send me better or he should uh, uh, send a punishment to you that it becomes a smooth. So he's just saying, you know, you are not being thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah can uh, send the punishment to he's not cursing or he's not jealous or anything. And here husbanan means hisab is accounting. Allah could send something that would be perfect according for like, you know, you are so much arrogant. So you should have a taqallah. Fear of Allah. So here Zalakha is slippery. Zalakh is to slip. His uh, friend is warning him. This is what we must do it. If uh, friends or our relatives or our family cross the limit. It doesn't mean people misunderstand and they say, oh, they are talking negative, they are jealous and so on and so forth. No, it's not so. Aw yusbiha ma uha qawran. Aw means or yusbiha will become is from swadbaha. Ma'uha, it's water, it's ma. 
غورن من سنکن فلن سو نیور تستطیع you will be able لحو for it طلب means طلب find so here غورن is deeply underground سنکن غار غار is a cave غور is when something goes deeply underground so if water goes underground then you will not be able to find it you will not be able to dig it out so he is trying to bring his friend back down to earth or its or its water will become sunken into earth so you would never be able to seek it you know without water you can't have fertile land we can't have vegetation we can't have fruits or anything everything depend on water and who is sending the water allah subhanahu wa taala allah can sink in the water the same thing we have seen in surah al mulk in the last ayah it is mentioned ma an ghawran so here also uh, that person is saying you know allah can take the water away wa uhita bi samrihi وَأُحِيطَ and we're surrounded is from إِحَاطَ we have we have learned this word in آيَةِ الْكُرْسِ يُحِيطُونَ بِسَمْرِهِ his fruits فَأَسْبَحَ so he began يُقَلِّبُ twisting twisting you know how we twist our what is كَفَيْهِ his hands you know when you are very uh, upset or you are tensed how you twist your hands Allah over ما what Anfaka he had uh, spent it's from nafaka fiha on it wahia while it had be rabbi with my lord khabiyatun collapsed ala upon uru shiha its paralysis by yakul when he said ya laytani oh i wish lam not ushrik i had associated be rabbi with my lord ahada anyone so now he is uh, regretting you know and his fruits were encompassed by ruin so he began to turn his hands about in dismay over what he had spent on it while he it had collapsed upon its trellises and said oh i wish i had not associated with my lord anyone now he realizes his mistake so his uh, friend warned him not to be boastful then what happened the man Uh, garden become destroyed completely destroyed and here uhita means from ahata uh, to surround something with the calamity his fruits were encompassed by destruction not even one thing survived nothing completely destroyed and you qalli bul kafaihi he turned his uh, hands you know kafa is the plural of kaf all that he could uh, do was turn his hands upside down in regret when turn their hands upside down when they have nothing you know you understand you are uh, upset and you are in sorrow he was regretful for what he had spent on the garden his garden and qawiyatun ala urushiha from qaf waw ya collapse khawal bait is when houses demolished urush is the plural of arisha arisha is a trellis used for growing vines so everything was destroyed the man said that i wish that i had not associated any with anyone with my lord he denied so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he was being arrogant this person was being arrogant so thinking of himself and his money he was also showing off so allah Uh, you know um, send this thing to teach him a lesson walam takul lahu wa and lam not takun was lahu for him fiatun a group yansurunahu to help him from nasara min from duni other than allah allah kana was muntasira so and there was for him no company to aid him other than allah nor could he defend himself so here fear in a group he had no group of people to help him other than allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and none came to his uh, this person no no one could help only allah can help right he was showing off he showing his power nothing survived hunalika hunalikal walaytu the protection 
Lillahi is from Allah al-Haq, the truth. Huwa he, khayrun is the best, sawabun in reward, wa khayrun is the best, uqba, the final end. The authority is completely for only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his haq truth. He is best in reward and best in outcome. So, wallaytu, authority, dominance, power, right there and then, it was proven that supreme authority is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. So Allah is best in giving reward and best in consequences, punishments. So we must trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not the creation. If we get lost in the creation, that is the greatest deception. We must be aware of the reality of this life. So what we learn in this, the incident of two gardens. The person who owns the garden, he was very boastful. And the other person who was uh, uh, the friend, he is reminding, be, be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, thank Allah. And when he was not being thankful, it was said shirk. Because, you know, showing off riya is a, is a uh, shirk is satira. People, uh, they are boastful and showing off. They think... Uh, it is because of them. No, it is the Rahma. It's the mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah can give to anyone. And Allah can take it away. And he was guiding his own friend. But he didn't listen. He is not being thankful. In shakar tum la azidannakum. So if you are thankful, Allah will give more. But if you are not thankful, boastful, arrogance. Allah does not like arrogance. Arrogant people will become like ants. So we should stop doing arrogance. Whatever Allah has given, be thankful. And don't think Allah has given in this world can give in the hereafter. Depends on your deeds. Depends on your good deeds. You should strive for the good deeds and protect the good deeds. It doesn't mean, you know, some people, they do good deeds, but uh, they, uh, you know, also uh, erase their good deeds. One should not erase it, keep it for the Akhirah. Jazakallah khairan kaseerah.